everybody so here we are again um, another unboxing as you can see here it's another hunter's lodge corporation box um, just got this in the mail today um, a while back I think I might have shown in one of my videos that hunter's lodge had um, 1916 Spanish Mausers as well as some uh, model 43 or model 1943 um, one chambered in seven millimeter Mauser, the other one chambered in eight millimeter Mauser. Um, and a while back, you guys saw the series of videos I did on my model 1943 Spanish Mauser. Um, this was the one that had quite a bit of rust on it. You know, obviously had some pitting on it. But you know, I went through, cleaned it up, sort of refurbished it. You know, put the same stock back on it because even though it was repaired, it wasn't in terrible shape. And um, really turned out to be a nice rifle. Um, still waiting on my headspace gauges to come in to check headspace which I'm sure it's going to be fine because there's not a lot of wear to it um, however this one I'm holding in my hands was about roughly two hundred dollars when I bought it um, and then not too long ago um, I was talking with military surplus carbon collector and he had stated that he thought about getting one of those uh, well one of these that I just showed you and I was thinking well hey you know I think I might get one of their little $98 special ones the ones that's probably gonna be missing some parts probably gonna be looking rough you know I don't really care so called James spoke to him said hey you know find me the if you can I don't know if you can do it find me the best looking you know $98 Spanish Mauser you can you know this model 43 and I don't care if it's got a busted stock because I've got a stock um, so I have one spare stock um, we'll see what happens uh, like I said, this was 98 bucks. You can see postage here was like 30 bucks. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a third of the cost of the rifle. So without further ado, we're going to unbox this. And while I get my glove caught in my knife, um, we're going to show you guys what you can expect. So let me get this thing open. And honestly, I really don't know what to expect this thing to be. You know, it could miss. It could be missing 400 parts. They did state that it would likely be missing some parts. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm just really hoping that I get a rifle that's got the majority of the parts. I could care less if it's missing a few small parts, but you know, the barrel to action, you know, the the trigger, uh, the trigger guard, trigger, um, you know, the bolt, obviously. But if it's missing a bunch of other small stuff. You know that's 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 not a deal killer. Um, it's not gonna it's not gonna make me upset. You know. Um, but we'll see what we end up with. I mean, and I'll be honest with you guys, I don't look for rifles that are in you know mint condition because I like to tinker. I like to refurb rifles. That's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, I enjoy it. With that being said, do I expect to get something perfect? Nope, sure don't. And quite honestly, if you guys are expecting to get something perfect, probably shouldn't be looking at Hunter's Lodge. Just saying. Because I know a lot of people have stated, oh, I'd never buy that. Oh, that's a piece of junk. Oh, I can't believe I sent that to you. Well, let's be real. It's 2022. Surplus markets dried up. There's only a handful of people that have them out there. Namely, Atlantic Farms, um, Centerfire Systems, JG Cells, Century Arms International, um, Royal Tiger Imports, Hunter's Lodge, um, let's see, Old Western Scrounger, um, let's see, Simpson LTD. Um, there's really, there's probably 10 or less of the big names. So, you know, don't be expecting to get something that's going to be a diamond mine. Now granted, I'm not saying you can't find them, but don't be expecting to get one from, you know, Hunter's Lodge. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous and wonderful and everything else. Okay. Ooh, pretty rusty. I'm not scared of it. Let's see what else is in this box. I don't want to lose any pieces. I don't know if they put the bolt separate. Oh, yep, yeah, they did put the bolt separate. There's the bolt separate. Set that down. 
There's my packing slip. Put that aside. Let's get this box aside. While I knock the camera nearly off the table. Okay. Now well, let's see what we end up with. Right off the bat, it's got a sling. <laughs> it's pretty rough. <laughs> but it's got a sling. Stock looks pretty well. Oh, that stock. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad right off the bat. You guys will see it here momentarily. Trying not to cut my gun. This is definitely an M40 hurry. Okay. Yes, indeed. Stock looks rough. Actually, this looks really dirty. <laughs> To be honest, doesn't look really doesn't look terrible. There, well, once I get this, man, <laughs> this thing's really dirty. Anyway, let me go ahead and pull the bolts out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh, kind of a rusty bolt. I'm not scared of it. Let's see. Okay, man, just can't hardly see the, looks like it's a 3197 maybe? Let's get on the gun. Okay, so this is definitely a mismatch. It's a RT09488. The bluing is here. There is some surface rust, but... There's a small split in the handguard here. Oh, sorry. Sorry guys, I'm I'm getting so sidetracked. I apologize. Um, let's look at this bolt. Um, it looks like it. At, it looks like it wasn't terribly, you know, in terrible shape. Like it wasn't terribly taken care of. Like you know, really bad. It just looks like it was kind of neglected. Um, you know, like it. I don't know, sat in a crate for 50 years. Maybe that's the case. But as you can see, a lot of this dirt. I'll show you guys this. I'm wiping this off. Wipes right off. Now, not all of this is dirt. You know, some of this is rust. Um, there's some rust here on the bolt. There's a little bit of scale right here on the on the safety latch, but the bolt looks pretty good. It just, I, mean, I just may clean it up with some steel wool or something, but it looks good. Um, now, back to the rifle. Strange enough, it came with a sling. <laughs> it's about to fall apart. <laughs> but, I'll tell you what guys, cool thing is, is the metal's here the slings here um, I could probably fat I could, um, I could probably fashion another sling with some some leather strap um, all right let's see if we can get this get a close-up for you guys um, I'm not sure what's going on with the stock here it's just really rough um, rough wood like it wasn't um, this wasn't really nicely finished. I can't tell you why. Um, the butt plate is here. It's in great shape. So let me give you a good view. All the parts appear to be here. Um, let me bring it back so you guys can see that. A lot of the bluing is still here. Um, there is a lot of surface rust and there's also a lot of just grimy dirt. They did say these were in the crate. Um, that's probably where they've been sitting. You know, I can tell you right off the bat without scoping this bore, the rifling's there. I can see it. Um, let me flip it to the bottom side. You know, I dare say, <laughs> you know, this stock is really nasty, grimy, dirty. But I think it's in better shape than the one I spent $200 on. 
But like I said, right here, for whatever reason, this stock is really rough. Um, and it just looks like it wasn't well finished. You know, you see that sometimes with some of these mill serps. Sorry, dragging that along the bubble wrap. You can see the rust here. Um, you know, it's it's not to the point where it's scale, but it is a pretty good surface rust going on. You know, flip up sights intact. It's here. Looks like there's a couple pieces of wood under there, or something. I don't know what that is. You know, there's your crest. You guys probably won't be able to see it because of the rust and the dirt. This one's a 1953. I believe my other one is also. Let's check it out. Other one's a 1954. Um, I do not see any. Oh, I didn't show you the very underside. So, this is a 9422. This is a 9422. This is a 9422. So, it looks like this rifle is largely numbers matching, with the exception of the bolt. Um, it looks like it's a something 197. But it's not terrible. I mean, it's the bluing is still here. I just need to try to clean it up as good as possible. I'm really anxious, actually, to clean this up and see what we got underneath. Um, but here you have it. Um, you know, this is my M43 Spanish Mauser for ninety-eight dollars. Come on, guys. I mean, really, for ninety-eight dollars, what can you buy for ninety-eight dollars? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a high-point pistol. <laughs> I mean. I mean, come on, really? It's an eight millimeter Mauser. <laughs> I mean, God. oh, kills me. You guys may roast me in the comments. Go ahead, I don't care. I love stuff like this. I love breathing life back into these old guns. You know, obviously, they're inanimate objects, but I like, I like to refurb them. I want to see what I can end up with. You know, make it nice. Well, nicer, maybe not nice, but I mean, all the parts are here. Can't complain about that. Um, you know. Mm. Yeah, that thing's uh, it's a little tight, and it looks like somebody messed with my safety. Well, maybe. It... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I got it to close. Um. It's really rusty. Really rusty. I got it back out too. Um, looks like the spring probably rusted up in here. Need to fix that. <clears throat> but let's put them side by side so you guys can see. Alright. $200 Spanish Mauser. $98 Spanish Mauser. Now, as you guys saw in some of the previous videos, this was dial pinned to the top because the clip underneath here was no longer, well, the screws rusted away. So, my suspicion is that Hunter's Lodge just wanted this to be a complete rifle, so that's probably why it was dial pinned together. Can I fault them for that? Uh, yeah, either way, I guess you can, I guess you can't. But, you know, when you look at this rifle, for $98, guys. And gals, whoever's watching, this thing's, I mean, look at it. Yeah, it's a little rusty. Who cares? Not going to deter me. Um, it looks great. I mean, I, I'm not, I can't complain. Uh, yes, my bolt does not match, but, you know, when I get my headspace gauges in, I'm going to, I'm going to check it after I get, get this thing a good cleaning. Um, make sure it's good to go. Um. I mean, seriously, I mean, this thing looks great for $98, once again, I'm going to keep reiterating that. Um, you, know, you guys can see this, maybe you can see a better better view from this angle, you see the rust, there's bluing underneath there, 
You know, am I going to say there's much bluing left? I don't know. I don't have a clue, but we'll find out. Okay, let's take it apart. So, there you have it. $98 Spanish M1943 8mm Mauser. There it is. I mean, I think it's in great shape, considering what I paid. I'm certainly not going to go out and buy a high point pistol for that. One, because I don't like them. <laughs> and two, uh, I'd rather have this. So, anyway, if you guys like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm probably going to do a series on these, or on this one again, much like I did this one when I did the cleaning up process. Um, really anxious to see what this stock looks like under the wood. There may, you know, there may be some cracks hiding in here. I don't know. But I will say this. On the surface, there are no dial pins in here. They did not pin this to the lower. Um, now, my my one sling swivel here is bent. I mean, really, guys, that's 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 a simple fix. Um, you know, um, the sling's seen its better days. You know, I'll probably just get some more get some more leather. Maybe remake this. Um, I've got another one for this one. I'll probably use uh, as a as a template, but I mean, it's, I, this thing's awesome. I mean, I, I'm pleasantly impressed and surprised because um, I expected you know stock to be broken half and I don't know missing some more pieces, but I'm not missing anything. Not missing anything. I'm not even missing the retention screws down here. They're all there. Now, trigger guard has a small bend to it. I can fix that. I can fix that with an adjustable wrench very easily or anything else. So, there you guys have it. Rifle appears to be numbers matching. Bolt is not. I'm not really surprised in the case of these Mausers. Uh, this one actually might have been missing a bolt. Maybe they threw a bolt in just to be nice. Sweet, in my case. Um, but like I said, I'll clean this thing up. We'll do some more videos, show you guys you know, what it looks like. Because I'm curious myself now. And uh, who knows, it may end up looking pretty close to this one. This actually has pitting on it. On the surface, I don't see any pitting on this one. So, anyway, there you have it. You got it at Hunter's Lodge. You guys just drop them an email, give them a phone call, make out your invoice, send your check or money order in, and boom, this is what you get. So, anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. If you like, uh, if you like videos like this, you like to see unboxings like this, Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. It certainly helps the YouTube algorithms. And uh, you guys have a happy new year. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.